Hello, hello guys, how you doing? Uh, I'm Dande from Server73 and well, today we gonna, well, I want to do an upgrade about something I spoke before, like last year I think, and I want to give you like the five, the five predict production technologies you must need right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I was uh, talking with some friends about the importance of having an academy and they were saying like they haven't skipping uh, production tech. And then I was like, what are you talking about? They sent me screenshots and basically that was empty. And I was like, ah. So I wanna show you the five technologies you really need from production. And um, yeah, I just, the first, I wanna split to, in this this part in one video. So the first part, I wanna show you the five ones. And at the end, I'm gonna show you the benefits of those. And then I'm gonna give you what are you looking for? That is the second code from this night. Okay, so this is Dandy, welcome to my video, and let's start with this. Okay, so you can see I have everything max over here. I'm gonna scroll real fast and you will see I have like 10, 10, 10, 10, let me answer some 10, 10, 10, so hard on floors. Okay, so uh, let's start with the number one. First technology you need to have 10 out of 10, it's speedy construction. You will have 30% extra on speed and building speed that is significantly huge for example you have to do a 20 days uh, build instead of doing 20 days you're gonna be cut to 14 days because every 10 person is two days so instead of doing like almost three weeks you want to do two weeks which is huge because if we add the alliance helps if we add the other technologies the skins all the things you have it's like the reduce the reducing time it's huge compared to the real time number two uh, I, the gold piles. Why, Dante? Why you're not talking about other resources, but you're talking about the gold? Because thirty percent extra dwelling task, you're getting like thirty percent more gold from production. For example, if you're getting a million gold daily, you're gonna get a million, a million, uh, three hundred thousand gold uh, daily. So that's huge because there's are six and starts getting like six million. You're gonna be getting like more than ten million daily which is good because you need gold for everything like you need gold for immortals you need gold for dragons you need gold for artifacts you need gold for everything related to your stp so never 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 think you don't need gold piles it's like a must i'm gonna yell at you if you don't have it actually number three rapid progress technology research 30 percent Again, this is this is the technology part of the building I explained before. You really need to have a rapid progress. You need to have this technology bust because if you are like um, working on technology, for example, this these technologies over here, those of these those technologies over here are really easy to max. You don't need you can, you can you can measure how long it takes based on power over here for. Nine, 944 I'm gonna show you how much is how much takes for example finish this four four hundred four thousand five hundred ninety eight that it took me like 12 days to finish this and I have like max technology on the speed in progress so you really need to have this um, on tent because otherwise you are wasting resources you're wasting time and if you're rushing technology you are wasting speed ups because you are not getting the 30 person list. Sorry, I've sound angry, but I've seen people that have everything max, all the PVP max, but this technology is not max. And you waste a lot of resources. You even waste money if you were buying speed ups. Number four, I will, I will classify this as a whole and it's the burden. Why the burden than they? Because look at this, 30 extra, extra person on the load. What is the load? I'm gonna show over here. It's this, how much resources, how much, yeah, how much resources the troops get after hit. You can get, I get 20 uh, million. That's like 5 million per resource. And yeah, I mean, I just, some quick hits and I already uh, full because if you don't have enough load, you will be struggling to 
uh, farming because you're going to use more AP, you're going to use more time, you're going to have to get more castles, you're going to have to get more uh, tiles, all those things will be like more complicated, will be longer, but when you are max in the load, like you just need to have the troops and they're just going to get more for you. So instead, for example, if, if the, there's this castle and have 20 million of each, it's going to cost me like four hit to get everything but if you don't have this you only get like three million per troop per per resources like you get like i don't know 12 15 you're gonna have to hit like six seven times to empty the castle so those are ap you are losing and you actually need so number four the the, the troops burden all of them like well focus on your on the, on the troops you have you can see you have experiment but because i really need it now i have experiment i didn't use before Ah, okay. And number five, <laughs> it's the what? Okay, I will. I'm divided, but I gonna say, enhance, enhance protection. That's a thirty percent warehouse protection. What is that, Dante? Well, that's pretty easy. Here, the storage. You can see how much resources you are protecting. Like instead of protecting like certain amount, you're gonna protect more than usual. That means that if you get attacked, you might lose some resources. But example, but for example, I've seen people having like a, a million of resources, and when you hit them, like you are not getting anything, and you're like, huh, why not? Well, because this, they have using this protection. Like it's really cool. I really like. It. Those are the five I recommend. So. So what are the benefits we are on the last minutes of the video and i want to give you the only the three benefits of have all of this technology number one you reduce your speed ups like the reduction of the building and technology are huge like the speed ups you are saving it's a 30 percent of what you are supposed to use for example if you need to use 23 hour speed ups you're just gonna use 14 so you have six left for anything else that doesn't require um, technology or buildings. So that's an example, of course. So number one is redu you reduce the amount of speed ups. Number two, you bust the amount of resources you are getting in your castle. For example, I want to show you here the bust economy. You can see that my production is above 100. So I'm doing almost three times what I, I i i should produce like i'm doing like like two points and a half basically if they, like instead of doing i should be doing for example four million of food per day i'm making 10 million of food per day like that's almost three times what i'm i'm, I'm supposed to be uh, making so number two it's you produce more resources that you will need and number four you protect yourself better you're gonna have an advantage protecting your resources and your stuff when you have the warehouse protect with your technology that means if you are under attack the the, the probabilities to get emptied it's like super low because you're going to still have some stuff left so those are the three benefits i i give i think those are the best things you can do those are the best technologies you can do and well, so now that it's it's uh, now that i already make this i just gonna give you what you be looking for and you watch this video for so the word the second word of the day it's dark d-r d-a-r-k dark so happy halloween folks i really hope you enjoyed this video see you in the next one this is dan the lemon well this is dan the lemon from server 73 happy to be here see ya